There are so many ways that you can add live chat onto your WordPress website, but there's a plugin called 3CX Free Calls, which literally is exactly as it says. It is free. When I came across the 3CX solution, I did think to myself, there's got to be a catcher, there's got to be a gimmick because it gives you a heck of a lot for free. Basically, it's a live chat solution for your WordPress website. Maybe you have a shop or you're selling services or you want to have some sort of like information, you know, tech support as well. But just look at what it says here. Drop the $20 per user per month because some solutions do charge you, but this is free forever. And I kept looking for, well, what's the catch? And there literally isn't one. If you go over to your plugins and do a search for free CX, you will find it. Go and install and activate it. You do have the connect and account vote. But don't worry, it is still free. So you can either go with the Google account or you can sign it with email. Now, anyone out there that goes, well, I don't want to do it via my Google account, fine. Just go with the email option then. You will notice that it is free again forever, but it is for up to 10 users. Now, I know a lot of web agencies and freelancers and companies out there that are going to go, well, that is absolutely fine for me. And like I said, there'll be businesses as well. Like how many people in your business are really going to be there to respond to calls? So you might find that 10 user limit for the free option is completely fine. Once you've gone through the setup process, you will get given a login link and obviously you do set your password. By the way though, once you've done this, it automatically feeds it through onto your WordPress website. So if you had installed it and then said, I'm gonna register or join up via email, while you're doing this, it automatically feeds over here. And I think that's really slick. And it starts to get really simple after this point now. You can customize, you can decide if you're gonna enable this chat on every single page, or you might decide, well, I'm only gonna put it on a particular one. I'm gonna put it on one of my test pages. Do you wanna show that it is powered by free CX? I like this, mainly because a lot of free options out there, you have to go premium to remove it. And I really like the fact that they have actually disabled it. So it's not like it's there and then you have to remove it. No, they're saying, can we have your permission to show it? So if you don't want to show it, you don't have to. Let's now go and customize the live chat. You'll be asked to enter in an extension number. Now at the point of signing up, you would have got that email to you. If however you've lost that, just go back over the free CX, log in and you'll see what your extension number is. And then you'll get the details to install the app on your phone as well. Because you could be out and about and if anyone starts to chat or they want to chat to you, you like support or get some details about a product, you could literally start chatting to them and really build that relationship with a potential client that could help conversion. Once you've got the app, scan the QR code. That is now on my phone. Yeah, sure, you got to sign up, but it is pretty damn easy. Now, my screen has already taken me to the free CX dashboard, and that's after I install the app, and it's kind of showing that I'm available. And if you click the profile picture, any one of your team members can now inform you if they are on lunch. Let me run through some things that you really should take account and then we're going to test this out in action. Right down here, we have an option called apps. This one is interesting. You can now install a desktop app as well because obviously your website, WordPress or wherever you've installed it, that's people interacting with the website in a way. I mean, you could be taking calls on your phone, but if you're at your desk, do you want to always be reaching for your phone, especially when you have all this tech in front of you? You can install the desktop app as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's just hit install. Just over there, you can now see the app that's open. And it was, again, really smooth. You install it. It then automatically says, do you want to connect? You connect it over. And now, rather than me having this window that I've got to open or log in, I can just open up my app. And it's now in my docking bar, so I'll never miss it. Let's Let's go and click on the admin in the bottom. Let's go to users first. Now, at the moment, we only have me. I'm just going to refine my details. Of course, you can add in more users. Remember, you are allowed up to 10 users for free. In the free CX talk tab, I'm going to give myself a friendlier name like that. The links over here are really, really important. You could pop this into the signature of your email or anywhere else. And if anyone now clicks that, it's going to basically go through this system. So maybe they could talk to you or leave a voicemail or even start chatting to you. That's what is really, really good about this. And if you want them to join a meeting, you have the meeting link and you can decide if you're going to approve participants before they join. So depending on the type of meeting, is it a free for all or is it a very secure meeting with chatting to people? You might want to go and tick that. 
You can then start to refine what happens depending on your status. So do you remember over here, we could decide if we were on a business trip, lunch or away. So are you going to leave a message? So you're going to say something like I'm available or maybe when you get to the away bit, you're going to put something else in there. And you can also decide on, well, when you are away, if someone does try to contact you, where does that go? Does it go to voicemail or another number? By the way, if you ever do want to check your voicemail, you will get details in email and you're on your account. So when you use the free CX app on your phone, you will dial in a number on your phone and then that will allow you to hear your voicemail. Decide on your working schedule and we can override that in the office hours section, but we'll stay on the users for now. Now let's go over to the voice and chat tab. Now you will already have live chat enabled here. If not, go and click here. And even though it is there, don't just skip and now start adding in other things. Please click that because this is the icon down here that you can see below me, the blue one that will be visible on the test page that I activated this. And you may decide, do you want to show the chat icon? Do you want to show a chat box like that? So depending on the style of your page or how much estate you have to play with, have a think about that. I'm going to go with the chat icon first. Do we want to enable phone and chat or chat only? This is really, really good you get a lot of power and flexibility over what you want. I'm going to go for phone and chat just to show you this. What visitor information do we want? We'll go with name and email address. Let's now go over to styling. You are limited to five themes, but the range of colors kind of are quite suitable for what we tend to see in terms of chat icons. So go for the one that is most suitable for you. And you can go and pick the animation for what happens when you click it. Just for the purpose of what we're doing here, I'm going to go with a slide up. At any time, you can click to see what it will look like. So chat with us and you can see what it's doing there. So let's go over to messages. I'm going to refine one of them so that we can see it in practice. And I'm going to say, hey, what's up, my friend? Let's just hit save on that. You can see there it's instantly done it for us. So this is really good if you want to test out what's happening. Very, very important. OK, make sure you go and stick in an image for the user. All right. No one likes to have just stock photography. You can get away with it, but don't just have a blank avatar. Let's go with tech support. And how about enabling calls to go to a queue? Maybe you're being, you know, flooded with loads of people trying to contact you. And there's only one or two people managing the system. Let's go and stick them in a queue. And of course, if you are working with anyone in the European Union or even out just outside the European Union or however it works now, you want to make sure you've got GDPR and privacy con controls enabled. Now, you will notice options at the top for adding Facebook and WhatsApp, and that means that you can reply to people and also interact with Facebook messages as well. There's a few more steps you need to go through for that, and you will get that in the help guidance provided under documentation with configuring WhatsApp and also Facebook as well. And you do have to do a little bit with Webhook. Now, the instructions are all here step by step if you need to do that. I'm just going to go to office hours and it is actually really, really easy and simple to go in and just add default times or to modify them. And what I do like is how you can add in your lunch time as well. So if you always tend to take lunch or maybe you go for a jog between 12 and 1, you can go and pop that in as well. So I'm just showing you a dummy website here whereby we don't have any chat option available. That's because I did not enable it across the entire website, only on a particular page. Let's now go to that page. And on our test page at the bottom there, we have our icon. So if I now click that, it says chat with us or call with us. Let's go with chat with us first. There's my face. We don't have the powered by free CX message there because we disable that. Let's go and pop in some information and we're going to hit chat and we get that message. Hey, what's up, my friend? Let's go and type something in then. I need some help on web design. Now, I had my app open in the background and the moment this was sent, this happened. This appeared on the screen. It literally slid in. It wasn't until they hit send. So if someone opens up the chat, but they haven't gone and said what they want, you won't be notified, okay? So if people are just going on, oh, what's that button? You don't want to be notified by like a hundred like dummy clicks, right? You want to know when someone is now interacting with you. So I now have the option of ignoring or I get to reply. What do you need? And as soon as I've hit that, you can see it there and you can see it over here as well. Now I do have other options. I can, if I want, transfer this. So if there are other members of my team, this is why this is so brilliant in what it does. 
You've got a team of five or six people. Oh, I'm not the right person. I'm just here to triage the calls of what's coming in. You can now transfer it over to someone or you could say it's dealt with or archive or end the chat session or maybe even block them because, well, they're a little bit dodgy. But look, I'm just going to go and pop in question mark, hit send, and it comes over. That is just how really cool it is. I am wearing an Apple Watch, and I don't know if you can see it there on the screen, but the messages are coming through onto my watch. So I'm being notified, and I even have the option over here to reply. I didn't connect my watch, but because my watch is connected to my phone, which is being used here, you know, with the connections, because I've got the app, it's all feeding through. And have a look at my phone. This is with the app. So I could either chat to people using the desktop app. I'll get notified via my phone if I want. I can disable that as well because you can, you know, work on the notifications. But I can also start replying. I could be anywhere in the world. Maybe you've got someone who knows all the stuff about a particular product. So you've enabled live chat for a particular screen or a particular page, but there's only one person in the world who can answer those questions. Well, they now can do it. But let's go a step further. What if the person now tries to call us? Let's try that out. So I'm gonna click callers. Bilbo Baggins, live chat. And I can now hear myself. I mean, you're not gonna hear it because I'm gonna get the echo of myself talking to myself and then it's coming through my phone. And if we go back to the app, you can see over here, like this is when they called us. And if I want, I can call them back as well. I can even turn them into a contact or delete them. This is probably the craziest and simplest live chat system that you're getting for free for 10 users. I'm just gobsmacked. I didn't have to go and do anything funky here, okay? I just went through the settings that I've shown you, okay? I didn't set up any special gateways or any special portals. It's really slick and easy to do, and I can enable this on wherever I want. It's free for 10 users. You can go and use it. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and get chatting. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.